What kind of Somebody a else? What kind of a monkey? Yeah. This kind of monkey, capuchin yeah. monkey. Okay. Capuchin or white face monkey. Hop <laughs> <White face monkey. laughs> <laughs> over, buddy. I took several. Thank you so much. We can delete, but we can't oh. take any. Yeah. Oh. This kind of monkey, guys, is that capuchin monkey or white face monkey? Oh. You sure? You want to? Somebody else want to try? He's so gentle. Yeah. 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 Somebody else? Whatever. 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 Whatever.
say this. Yeah. <laughs> Second, good news. There's a brand new bus. Just two weeks old. Oh. Yes. Very comfortable. They started in Central America where Mayans have been because Mayans all time was a combination with gold, silver, jade and this is what the Spanish were looking for. They steal everything from them and uh, uh, fill up the, their vessels and bring it back to the King of Spain in Europe. So in uh, Rotan we had no Mayans here, we had just uh, Aborigines like uh, called Garipunas. Also living a little bit like Indians, dancing a lot. Uh, also living in tents. And uh, for that reason, the Spanish were not interested on the island. So they um, they give the island free to make it easy for the pirates to come. Because when you see Central America and you see Spain direct on this line is Rota. So the pirates, they have just to wait here when the fully loaded, slowly vessels passing Rota and then they're going out with the faster ones they have enter them, steal what they have stolen so <laughs> steal it from them and, uh, and cover it and bring it back here on Rota So this, one, this is the reason why it was the capital city of the pirates here So and then a little bit later uh, the most dangerous one, we honor him and uh, the name of our capital city is Coxon Hole and the most dangerous one at that time was John Coxon, the British one. And we also have a, a group of French pirates here, a little bit more to the east. Uh, this is why our second biggest city is called French Harbor. So, this is the story of the pirates. Uh, this situation just happened, uh, we had uh, 40 years on the island and then England, the English were coming to the island because at that time uh, worldwide they also were not friends with Spain they had not a direct fight with them but the, the Spanish looking what are the English doing and the English, uh, the English doing what are the Spanish doing so because the English were stronger in, um, in India, in Africa, in, in Asia and uh, the Spanish totally here in Central America South America. So they came to the island just to inspect what are the Spanish doing when they're losing a little bit power immediately they could call the Armada and then they could fight against them but this never ever happened and uh, the first thing what they did when they come in here they kicked out the Garipunas the, the native living people here the Aborigines they kicked them out to Jamaica and then they're bringing her own slaves coming from Africa to the island. So in this situation happens and then, uh, that everything was here was in, uh, in English hands. Uh, they speak English, they have the, the English system, uh, not the metric, they have standard system, they have no litter, they have garden. And this situation happens around 250 years. In 1920, England and Honduras, they changed country, countries uh, from uh, England was calling Roatan to Honduras and on the other hand from Honduras Belize to England and then again everything changed here on the island now official language Spanish, everybody has to learn Spanish and we have no more gallons here, now they have little, no more miles, no kilometer and uh, they have the European uh, standard system here and then it started to mix on the island in the in the 70s when the first uh, uh, people from the island from the mainland were coming uh, they also have been mixed when the Spanish were coming and those were living uh, uh, Caribbean Indians uh, but they mixed with them and 200 years later uh, this mixed culture the Indians and also Spanish, uh, Spanish roots, they're coming here to the island and when the, the English going home, the villagers from Africa, they stay here. So now 
we have four or five routes with different routes here on the island so, and very mixed culture. So and the third thing uh, what Honduras was doing and also was something nice but also last time in Honduras history uh, was in 74 they bring back the garifunas uh, from uh, Jamaica back to her mother island and they give them a resort that they can regrow the family roots at that time coming back 350 families now we have 650 uh, again yeah. it's a nice concept what they're doing but this was the last nice concept they have, uh, have uh, done uh, at the moment uh, Honduras is the third biggest crime country worldwide did they tell you before? <laughs> yeah, it's not funny, it's really true. Um, they kill every day 40 people in a dramatic way. Um, yeah. it's, the number is not, uh, not, not huge, not big. Uh, when you're talking about New York, I'm sure it's more. But with, uh, they have just 9 million inhabitants, so that is a huge number. Why? Lots of drugs, or most of the drugs that are produced in Colombia, especially cocaine, to, they want to transport it to, to uh, US, they have to pass Honduras because Honduras is blocking both sides of the ocean, you cannot go around. And for that reason you find many Honduran drug dealers in Honduras, they controlling the market. And uh, they are horrible guys. They give you a ticket and a package, they bring it to Miami. Even you just thinking about what to do. Yeah. 
position. Um, so then we're walking down, making some um, snapshots, and then we are when we are in the down in the main eco park, we have uh, three things uh, or four to see. Uh, one is the butterfly house. There you see the completely evolution from the egg to the caterpillar or cork and uh, the end to uh, the butterflies. At the moment we have five different species uh, there. One is a huge one, a big one like this, an old eye is it called, uh, and uh, blue marble. Beautiful butterflies, big ones. And then we have a, a small trail walking around. Uh, there are two suspension bridges in. One is a huge one. It's about uh, 80 feet high and about 200 feet long. If you cannot pass it or you are afraid, uh, let me know. I'm calling Indiana Jones that he can. <laughs> This one is a natural herb, it's not herb, but this is what the local one's doing with this leaf. They, they fold it and then there is something coming out milky like this. And when you have a, a mosquito, they bite you or they, they uh, sting you, then you, you can uh, bring it on your skin and immediately the pain release. Yeah. Or a bee or, or a bee. Yeah. find an untouched coral reef. His name was Jacques Cousteau. No, no. Yeah. And he stayed here for four months. Yeah. And uh, after that he was on the island. Right. Nothing. 90% wow. is something to do with tourism, but there yeah. was no tourism. Yeah. Um, so there are people, they had less than two dollars a day to survive. Yeah. 
they did not survive. Yeah. We had from 20,000 at the end dying, 2,500, it's 12 or 14 percent uh, dying by, by COVID. Wow. Wow. But not really by COVID, in statistics, yes, uh, but uh, when you have not enough to eat right. and two dollar, right. what is this? It's nothing. Right. Right. Uh, uh, you see, after four months, the, 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 the condition was so bad. Uh, when they're coming a uh, little bit COVID, they could not cover it. Right. That's why it was very easy uh, that they have to die. Oh, that's the people that are in that 90%, do they make, how much do they make a day now? Are they making $5 a day or $10 a day or what? To, they what have the about $600 a month. $600 a so, month. Yeah, it's about $20, $20 a day. A day. $25. And this is not enough because uh, this is a very expensive island. Uh, we have nothing here. Everything what is coming is it's coming from Miami by ship or 90%. Yeah. When we buy a gallon milk here on the on supermarket, we have to pay $8. Wow. And it's the same if we're talking about sausage or cheese or yeah. uh, so you're same working, price level. You're working for hours just to get a gallon of milk. Here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yo. And uh, the, when we're working on the cruise ship, it's a little bit better paid than uh, because um, all of the Americans, they tip you good. That's why people, they, they love you when you're coming. Right. They are not jealous that you say, oh, they have much more money. I have, uh, no, they say, thank you that you're coming today and uh, drinking a coffee or a cappuccino in my shop. Uh, I have $3.50 more than yesterday. Right, yeah. yeah. They are really grateful to the others. But Europeans does not understand this because we have a different system in Europe. When we're going in the restaurant, everything is in the price included right. and yeah. the, the owner of the rent uh, pay the waiter. Uh. This is why they all the time they're asking me, I did a good job, but the, the Germans, they did not tip me. I said, sorry. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> Someone take my picture. Sure. Just snap a picture. Yes, the white button. I'll come here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. We can delete, but we can't take any. Yeah. Oh. This kind of monkey guy is a capuchin monkey or white face monkey. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. 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 Okay.
Watch your step, Tiffany. <laughs> something who represent anything so if you see right there how <coughs> like a bucket and have this thing is get out for this bucket this thing is feathers feather of the red macaw and these feathers represent the fire but not the real fire represent the fire you feel when you fall in love this fire represents and if you see this fire is get out for this this bucket for she has some and go for him see yes please Thank you. can you see okay yeah, yeah, okay so so back, you heard me my my voice is very Okay, we're going to explain again so that people do not listen to me, listen to me, okay? I tell this guy, this one is a bucket. And this bucket, have this thing is get out for this, okay? 
This one represents the fe feathers, the feather of the Rema cow. The Rema cow is, uh, represents the fire, but not a real fire. Represents the fire of the love, the feeling you feel when you fall in love. So, this one represents the eternal love she has for him and him has for she. For the Mayas, uh, represent the, the love for things. If you see right there in the dress, have shells. This one. Oh, this one are shells. This shell is jet. Because the, the Mayans say that jet is most important to the gold. The gold is important, but the jet is most. So, this one represents the love too. The eternal love he have for she. So if you see in the he have a bee hat in your head. So the hat, the hat represents the he is very very intelligent because when somebody have a a hat this hat this represents this is important person and he's an intelligent person too. So. As you see, he is more smaller and she's more bigger because this one represents like uh, she is important for him. Okay? So, in this side, have the hieroglyphic. Have the hieroglyphic. The hieroglyphic is the writing of the story for these two guys. And I tell you, the Mayans uh, study a lot the galaxy. If you see, in the top of the stella has uh, some face. This face is the face of the galaxy. Because for the Mayans, I don't know why, but the galaxy is your most important thing. Okay. And this one represents the matrimony and the love. Somebody else have some questions? No? Okay, take a picture. <laughs> okay, if you're ready, let's go for this way. The one above us? Yeah. <laughs> mango tree? Okay. Yes, it's a mango tree. Now it's not a season. Uh -huh. The season normally is in May, June, August, and this. Okay. Mango tree, guys. Right there is the mango tree. Or this one is on your side. Put your step in the shingle. Put your step in the shingle. Okay. And you weigh me right there, okay? Alright.
Get my photos now. <laughs> Country of Honduras is some department from Honduras or a state from Honduras, okay? So right there have the Estella B. The Estella B is not finished, okay, for the person uh, building this Estella. Because this one, the Mayas make this Estella and the structure that these Mayans use is very difficult to make. Okay, the reason this person not finish that Stella is because he go to Mexico to learn more who the Mayans make that. Okay, it's the reason it's not finished. It's more knowledge like a uh, Stella of elephant because if you see how like a nose like an elephant, okay, but the real name is the Estella B. So now guys, we're going to cross the bridge. We're going to cross in group or of eight. Okay? Okay, come here for this one. You want me to go first? Oh uh, yeah, me, me, me we're going first. You go first. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I sacrifice first. <laughs> 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 Take your picture. Okay. Okay. Is that a zip tie? Oh my god. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> okay. I'm afraid of heights. That's why I went first. Because <laughs> I would have never made it. This one is a short Yeah. I did a long one in Canada. Yeah, a long suspension bridge. This one. Um, oh, the, the bridge. Yeah. Yeah. How long is this one? Um, I don't know exactly. Who okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's like 80, so feet high, 80 feet high. 80 feet? Oh, like oh. oh my God, my heart. Okay, guys, <laughs> don't touch, you said? Be careful with okay. this cage. What is? The Mexican badgers. Oh. Badgers. Oh, badger? Don't pay it and don't go close. Okay. 
You don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> I don't want to go to the hospital in Honduras. <laughs> nope. Got it. Oh, Ruby looks so sweet. <laughs> Hi, sweet girl. A funny thing about them is that Grandma is in love with Ruby. So. And if we pet Ruby, Grandma put jello. And he baits it, so we're going to keep a little bit of this. Wow. The reason that we cast Bunny Monkey is because they only have four fingers. Look at the fingers. Use the four fingers for getting more better on the trees and everything. And I always use it, you know. It's fine. Even if it's like another arm. Here we have the slot. Okay. I guess you're already uh, wondering if he can hold, but not able to hold. Okay. Why the reason you walk in and the long walk for them is not too good or because the temperature your temperature affect them so when you walk in it's affect them because they have they are from the cold temperature not a hot temperature okay huh? so how many partners here like by two person or family just one one you yourself yeah you're lucky <laughs> <laughs> no no everybody else. Fun. You know what I might do for you? One of the family can hold in, not everybody. One of the family at least. I was gonna do this, one picture. <laughs> Side of me, but you want to one of the family, okay? Please? And it need to be quick because not everybody wants to hold. Like, okay. It's not good, actually. Okay. Can I go? Yeah. Okay. You Do you mind taking my picture? Oh, you sure? Okay. I'll take your picture for you. Oh, oh. Do you follow me? Oh, okay. Oh, that's why. I made a photo guy too for you. Oh, okay. Well, here. The best right there. I okay. got it for you. And then put it on camera. Yes. <laughs> the slow, they sleep 16, 13 hours during the day and they put once a week, okay? Okay. Under the butt. Under the butt. Not too tight, more loose. Oh, hi, baby. Look here. Uh -huh. <laughs> Look at the camera. Uh, she see how she follow me. Yeah. Okay. Oh. All right, there we go. That's <laughs> it. That's it. Okay. Not too long. It's not not good. Like I said, not good. I wish you okay. can keep it for long, but it's not good. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh, Okay, guys, um, now I need your attention again. Okay, Jasmine girl, please. Now we're going inside in the cage of the toucan and we're going to try to hold. Okay, um, so if 
somebody do not want to go inside in the cage, it's okay. It's totally optional. You stay right there and wipe me in the bench. Okay? But I think so. Who is do not want to go inside? <laughs> yes. I won't go in. Okay. <laughs> okay? To the right. You go on the
was protecting all boats out and we made the, the, the windows with the shearer <coughs> Okay, the day before the, the eye was coming, uh, it uh, drifted a little bit more to the north, the hurricane, more out of the, uh, to the, to the ocean. And then just a, 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 a tropical storm kissed us, so everybody was happy here on the island. Right. And, uh, but the, the hurricane going back to the ocean, Get more strongness again, and two days later he hit Belize with a full power. They had uh, four days no electricity. It was really horrible how it looks there. But you know, when you're from Florida or from from Houston, like that, you know what they're doing here. Yeah. Because normally they they're growing in the in the area of Venezuela, and then they're drifting Haiti, Cuba. This is more than nine days going. It's not so often that they, when they are in Cuba, that they're coming back to Mexico. Uh, and they're drifting more to the north of Florida. Or so, this is our most the biggest supermarket we have here. Many, many things you have seen right now. To have her own coffee is not possible. They have not the, the money for own coffee. So it's a win-win situation for, for both of us. And uh, also many investors uh, coming as a constructor and they're building apartments here. And the first step for Americans, two bed, three bed apartments. Uh, and then when the Americans coming, staying here for two months vacation or three, four times a, a year. Uh, when they're not here, when they go back, they rent the apartments. The newest project they have done is now in the, in the west part of Rotan and they're building a nine hole golf course and in the golf course included apartments. This is the newest project they have done right now. So we're really happy that they're investing so much money here on the island. Without the help of them, um, the island will look completely different. Nobody has a car insurance. We have no money for this. But we're thinking we have no money for this. Well, everybody knows nobody has a car insurance. And uh, also nobody knows how to drive because they did not learn it. Uh, and they're just checking. This is why I say without accident 25 years, amazing driver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we, we have uh, lots of gas stations and uh, a gallon is about eight dollars. And uh, so when they're driving, and they do not know, they're checking us. The guy driving in front of me, I'm not doing it the same way. This has to be a right way to drive. Or when they do not know, when they're coming to uh, the cross, they, they do not know who, is, who yeah. can drive first. Yeah. So the one that is, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is. The biggest car, the biggest car drive first. This is the rule here. So and then when we have an accident, we also we are not asking whose fault it was. We have a gentleman agreement, you pay yours, I pay mine. Because everybody knows we have no car insurance and they know, oh this Michael, this is the poor tour guide from Germany. He has no money uh, because the Germans they do not chip him. <laughs> The same from him, he's a local one, oh, forget about it, uh, he has no job and could be that he even have no driving license. And uh, so this is why we have the gentleman agreement and for children we are hardliner in this way. Uh, car insurance and do not touch my car and this is my, no, 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 no. Um, and then uh, I had uh, a discussion uh, two weeks ago with a, a local uh, tour guide. I hate your system here. Uh, it is, I, I now six years, uh, I'm driving here seven years now, and six times I had an accident. It was never ever my fault, and I had to pay for it. And I, I, it's really horrible for me, your system here. And then he was a little bit smiling and said, oh, You have uh, insurance in your country, right? So, yes, we have insurance, and this is a perfect system, and uh, nobody will be cheated. And, Things like that. He said, okay, Michael, uh, how much is the insurance? 
in your country. Uh, I don't know exactly, but maybe 1,500 a year in that range. Okay, so it's a good system you have. And uh, just a question, my God, how much you pay for your six uh, accident that was never ever your fault, but you have to pay for your own uh, car? I said, oh, I don't know, six thousand dollar for sure. Then he said, ah, okay, this is interesting, Michael, because you pay in seven years ten thousand five hundred for car insurance, and now you <laughs> you're complaining that you pay six thousand for accidents that was not your fault. But at the end, I'm asking you which system is cheaper. <laughs> So this is what they're doing here. <laughs> Michael, what's the, the currency used here on the other? The currency is called Lempiras. Lempiras was a guy fighting, he was a, a, a Indian, like an Indian, a Honduran Indian. And he was fighting, the, he was f uh, the last guy that was fighting against the...